Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Lost Souls with Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Dude, Storm King's Thunder's out. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I brought the book uh, last time. We yeah, talked about all the giants and runes stuff. I'm super pumped about oh, that. Oh, it's an awesome book. I actually bought it. Great adventure. Right. But the miniatures for the series are finally out. Yes. So we can pop these open and take a look at some of the new giants and stuff. Awesome. Now these are the random assorted mm -hmm. collectible minis. Yeah, you'll get, you'll get four in each box. Okay. Uh, a lot of giants, obviously, with the is, theme. Is that guaranteed? Can, or, or like one of the big miniatures guaranteed? Or it's, is it still all? From what I believe, it's guaranteed you get a big or medium sized one. Okay. And then a couple small ones to go with it. But awesome. you always get four, so. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I've seen some of the previews of these. I'm really stoked about this. So let's take a oh, look yeah. inside and some of these new Storm King Sunders boxes. Michael, we got Storm King Thunder here. The, we do. The I icons of the realms. I specifically brought two, so we could open them up and check oh, them out. Oh, thanks, so, bud. You wanna, I'm very excited. You gonna do what I'm gonna do one? Yeah, I mean, you can just take a look at packaging real quick, basically. Oh, yeah. You get an idea of sort of different images of giants and stuff. And it's not just giants. Mm -hmm. It is other stuff. There's Thrykreen, there's, you know, Imrith, who may or may not be a uh, super baddie that we talked about in the book a little bit. Oh, no spoilers, um, man, no spoilers. Some yuan some cloud giants, all sorts of crazy stuff, so. I think this is cool because this is the first set that I can remember where they've actually had specifically cool big giant miniatures. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, like the actual giants, not big miniatures, but like Like giants. actual giant, yeah. Yeah. There's 44 in the set. Uh, yeah. And they're random per box, but you know. No, there's been giants before, but not like this. You get four per box, so, yeah. you know, you buy, a, you buy a brick of them, you get, uh, I think it's eight per brick. You get most of the set, basically, so we can yeah. pop these open. Let's do it, man. Just gonna get some Got scissors some out. Super sharp scissors. Yep. Actually, I think I can just open mine from the top here. Oh, yeah, okay. the... Get tape on the sides. We're very yeah. scientific about our opening, as you totally, can see. Totally, totally. Throw the scissors elsewhere. Throw them. Don't even... Just embed them in the wall. Yep. All right, let's take a look. Let's say another book. No, just kidding. Rainbow. These guys live in the clouds. They could be... Some yeah. of them do. Oh, Ooh, I got a crazy one here. Nice. All right. Dude, I'll trade you. So, oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. This guy's pretty awesome. That so is got, sweet. Got his little uh, thing I think I got here. it. No, he's only got one head, so he's not in. So I got this guy. He is pretty bad. You can just see based on the scale Hold up. of a... Uh, are you having Yeah, pictures? no, no, he's, he's got a little clip. To hold yeah, on yeah. Here. You can almost see just sort of the scale based off of, you know, how it looks on the camera. These guys are huge, which appropriately, you know, they're giants. Makes sense. Uh, this is number uh, 29A out of 45. This is a frost giant, as you can see right there. Obviously made by uh, Wizards of the Coast and Wizkids. Um, I really, I mean, mine, I like, he has, it looks like dragon skulls on his- It's a she, air, dude. She, wow, yeah, look at that. Nice. But she has dragon skulls on her shoulders. That's awesome. It reminds me a little bit of Iron Jaws. Volcano. Little Iron Jaws mega boss look. And a little bit of Skyrim. A little too. Skyrim to me, I don't I know. Like the sort of Loki horns on yeah. there. Yeah. This is a uh, uh, Fomorian. Sorry, I couldn't read the, with the glare. What's that? Fomorian. Fomorian. Yeah. It's like a, a corrupted kind of giant. It's cool. Ice cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like his crazy eye. He's got the crazy eye, yeah. That's cool. I like the detail just in, I mean, you can sort of see sort of the detail with the little carvings in the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aldrin stuff. It's really well done. I'm, I'm honestly, Surprised. Take a look at some of these smaller ones. What the paint here? job on it too is is actually yeah, really they're solid. Yeah. So like, this is Crag Ungart. This is number seven out of forty-five. Nice. Um, looks like a, a dwarf, dwarf, maybe with a big old giant. He's knife. a giant slain dwarf. Yeah, maybe so. It's a giant's knife. Pretty sweet. Some cool golden armor there. I'm just pulling these out real quick here. Yeah. I like that you get multiple one. guys and it's just yeah, it's awesome. It's fun. Let's here we go. A, what do I got here? All right, I've got a bandit. Classic Always bandit. need more bandits. Hey, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Can, what I love about those two, I mean, they can sort of suffice for anything, really. Oh, I got Crag Ungart too. Oh, there you go. I got two of them. He's now. shinier though. Yeah. Isn't it? Now this is a Yuanti pureblood, uh, sort of a, the snake people. Of course, she's got her scimitar there. Yeah. Um, yeah she's looking nice. pretty cool. I've got. Kind of this is. Abomination now. Go with her. Uh, Kazi Alpha Landrium. Hmm. I don't know. How to, um, no idea who that is. No probably idea. a named character from the probably adventure. Did. But look at that bow. That's a big old bow. That is more than just a long bow. And this is a hellhound actually that I have. Pretty nice. cool little hellhound. He's got some nice red accents on there. It looks pretty cool. Hellhound is number thirteen out of forty-five, and the Yuan T Pureblood is number twenty-two out of forty-five. Now, do you remember uh, whether or not, like, how can it, how do you tell they're rare or not? Does that say um, that? On I don't there? know if it says it on there. 
Um, I but know they I'm, used to have like a star or something. Yeah, they used to have something. And what's curious to me is that this frost giant is 29A, which implies mm. there's a 29B or more. So I'm curious if there's like a named frost giant. That's just cool. Or another design of frost giant. Man. It's interesting. But I mean, you can tell that these are, you know, these are definitely to scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these, you know, you look at the difference in that That's a human, there. or that's a, yeah, humanoid. Humanoid. And I mean, this bandit here basically compared to this frost giant. Yeah. I mean, that is... That's Your base is even larger. Yeah. Like you can see the base. Yeah, like this is a this is a large base and that's like a giant base, yeah. a huge base. Yeah. So they're pretty sweet. I mean, I I kind of need to buy some of these now. You need to. Because I need to run this game, this yeah. adventure. It's, well, you've you've played through some of it. You've read through it at least. I've read right? through the whole book. I've I've read the adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, would you could you see yourself using some of these bad boys? I definitely could. It sort of depends on the adventure breakdown because. We went through it a little bit in our video on it, but there's yeah. a section in the adventure basically where the players are asked to go to one of um, one of like the five or six different giant right. sort of kingdoms and take on one of the lords. Right. So it sort of depends on um, where but they go. But if you bought, if you did buy a brick, but if I bought a brick, you, you would probably you would have enough, enough, and you would. And I mean, even though this is a frost giant, this could easily pass for a cloud giant or even oh, a yeah. storm giant. Yeah. Um, you know, this could pass for a hill giant, even if he is a Fomorian, so. Sure. There's all sorts of crazy stuff like that, but He's got I the mean, crazy eye. You're not gonna tell him he's not a hill giant. Exactly, he exactly. But yeah. I mean, even even without the adventure, you know, why not have a frost giant? Dude, I yeah. want one. This this Yuan-T, you know, she could serve as any, you know, any female character. This bandit could be any. I mean, we've seen female. that, we've seen it across, you know, ever since uh, Wizards was doing this to begin mm -hmm. with. It's like, People have been buying these sets just uh -huh. to use them as generic in their adventures. Yeah, I mean this hellhound, I would, I could probably use as just a wolf for something. You know? Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't really matter that much, but I do think that these look very good for the for the adventure. They you know, yeah, put so much detail into this giant. The it's fact awesome. that the the paint jobs are have gotten mm -hmm. to this point and they're they're mass produced like that this, it's pretty cool. I could actually see taking some uh, some paint to that and just. Mm -hmm. Little accents, little, little accent, maybe some stuff. battle damage. Yeah, yeah, it would be really cool. I, I like, these, I like it. Solid I like set. set. I think yeah. it's, I think it's really nicely done. So. Yeah, go check them out. They're in stores. Let's hop out for a really quick recap. All right, so that was the icons of the realms for Storm King Sunder. Those mm -hmm. are the collectible boxes. Let's run some boxes yeah. real quick. They come. I want to say it's eight to a brick. Might be ten. Don't quote me on that. Um, but they're going to be about 17 bucks a piece if you buy individually. Okay. Um, depending on the store. Depending on the store, depending on where you are. You yeah. can, of course, you know, find these online individually, like for lower, but you know, yeah. roughly around that. Uh, have four figures a piece, obviously made from Wizards of the Coast and WizKids. Right. Um, for the Storm King Thunder. So if you it got says, a book. It says ages 14 and up. They're miniatures. Know. They're miniatures. Yeah. Be responsible. So, you know, if you got the Storm King Thunder's book, uh, that obviously go really well with that. We, uh, we showed the yes. Frost Giant, the Fomorian and stuff. Um, yeah, very works cool really well for that adventure. And if you've read it, you know exactly you know how you could probably fit those. In. And so, also, if you just want to have a bunch of cool giant miniatures. Yeah, I mean, even if you're not you know playing D and D, if you just want it for any other sort of RPG or, yeah. or any game, like any that. RPG game that needs giants, th these are perfect for. Mm -hmm. You've probably already got the mat with the the perfect scale yeah. five by five grids. Yep, we all know what we're talking about here. Go check them out. Check them out. You can get right some now. really cool stuff. It's an awesome wave. A lot of cool figures. So yeah. totally. Well, this has been another Tabletop Spotlight, and I'm Adam Hare from Bella Souls. I'm Michael from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.